Hi guys, good evening. Uh, you probably can guess what I am doing with this unboxing of a Sky RC BD 250 uh, LiPo discharger. Um, basically the unit speaks for itself. It, uh, I've read a lot of uh, about this unit. The amount of times that I've uh, charged my LiPo up, uh, ready to go flying and on the day happens something doesn't permit me to go, maybe the weather or I've got other chores and I've got lipos that's sitting around, not doing much, but fully charged and that can't be good. Um, I'm a strong believer, I'm a strong believer in um, discharging the lipo, looking after the lipo um, because you can never tell when your lipo will fail on you. So I managed to get myself a little uh, Sky RC unit and we're just going to do a quick unboxing. Um, I've already cut the cellophane off uh, because it's just easier. Um, here um, you get your um, you get your full instructions. I don't know whether you guys can see it just there. Um, not a lot to the instructions. Just one piece of uh, one piece of leaflet, uh, which pretty much uh, that's how I like things to keep to keep things simple. And then and then you have your well small bag of tricks you get a fuse an inline fuse and then you've also got a um, plug which uh, basically will plug into the back of here um, and then you can connect the other end maybe to an XT, XT 90 or a Dean's connector and then drain your drain your battery that way uh, basically the unit is a massive heat sink uh, with um, massive cooling fan just here um, and that's pretty much it not a lot to say about the unit in fact uh, um, the inline fuse uh, will go in the bottom of here if in event of you do blow a fuse you just pull it out and replace it um, just maybe <laughs> I'm gonna just attempt a, a quick demo I'm just gonna plug this lipo in place um, now it should light up uh, however just move it out of here ah it's lighting up nicely um, basically you just uh, this is a four cell pack, uh, you uh, basically times it to whatever cell, uh, if you want each cell to be 3.8, you times that by four, and then you set this unit here to that number, and then you basically press start, and that's because this pack, oh, this pack is already drained to that capacity. So um, let's have a look. Maybe I can get another pack in place. Um, let's have a look. Okay, just unplug this pack. Okay, let me just plug this back in here. Okay, press this button. Okay, now this pack here is showing I've only got 11.68. It's because it's on a three cell, um, not a four cell. And Let's have a look. This is the, as you can see, as I'm turning the dial, it's basically telling me what amperage 
that I'm discharging at. So therefore now that um, I will be, I'm just gonna set this to one amp. Okay, that's set to one amp. And if I press, and then that one there flashes up, I can adjust that accordingly to whatever amperage I want that to be at, as you can see, guys. Um, and then if I press that again, there you go. It's start. It's starting to discharge now. As you can see, it's ramping up the amperage and it's uh, discharging as such. Um, pretty much it. This, uh, this, this discharger and when you've done, just unplug it and back to storage and um, hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like please give me the thumbs up and subscribe thank you very much